Hi, this is Mark Evanstein with music.py, and this is a Python music short. So for today's video, I just want to show you how to code up a musical random walk. Uh, to start with, we're going to import everything from the scamp libraries. And in addition, we're going to import the random library, the built-in random library in Python. Uh, as usual, we'll create a session object called s and we'll ask that session to create a new part, in this case, a cello part, and we're gonna store it in the variable cello. And so all we're gonna do here is we're gonna set the pitch to a starting value. I chose 55, the G below middle C, and then while true, so forever, over and over, we're gonna ask that cello to play a note of that pitch, um, fairly loud, uh, a quarter of a second long, and then, we're going to add something random to that pitch. So we're going to randomly choose between adding negative one, in which case it goes down, and adding one, in which case it goes up. Uh, Random.choice is this great function that lets you randomly pick a number from a list. So uh, if I, down here, if I were to say import random and do random.choice one, negative one, one, four, two, seven, eight, it'll randomly pick something from that list each time. I'm just using it to choose whether to go randomly down or up. Let's take a listen. So there you go. One of the ways we can make this a little bit more interesting is to do something interesting with this list of numbers. So uh, maybe we do negative one, but positive two, and also negative three, and positive four. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Now you may notice that that's starting to get a little bit out of a cello's normal range. Uh, the reason for that is because the positive values here add up to six and the negative values add up to four four, negative four. So there's going to be a tendency for it to go up rather than down. By the way, you can actually repeat numbers within this list and it'll just make it more likely to be chosen. So one way I could balance it out would be to have negative one, negative one, negative one, two, negative three, four. So this adds up to zero now and there's a lot greater likelihood of just going down a half step each time. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> So that's how you can play some random walk music in Python. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try any of this yourself, I've put links in the description. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, or take a nice long bubble bath.